All right, hey you guys, welcome to my channel. So today I'm just gonna show you how I do my mini braids. It's been a minute. I think the last time I've done my mini braids was like last October or so, and I just need a good break um, for this Memorial Day weekend and a few weeks after that. So my hair has been freshly washed, you guys. It's been almost 30 days since my last wash. And my last wash, if you haven't checked out that video, that was when I did the Rasul clay mask, which I absolutely loved. I raved about it. My hair came out this wash so incredibly soft again. And I think it's because of that clay mask, you guys. So I will put the link to that video right here at the top. And of course, down below in the description box for you. But make sure you check that out. Um, my hair was so easy to detangle. It felt good. I also used to deep condition. I used the CPR mask um, from TGIN. That mask, I forgot I had it, but I for also forgot just how great it is. So I will put that down below as well. And then I'm just using my new favorite tool, which is my handleless blow dryer. Blow dry my hair straight for these braids, for these mini braids. You don't have to add heat to this protective style. You don't have to add heat to do your mini braids or mini twists, but I wanted to because I wanted the length of them and they actually last a bit longer for me whenever I go ahead and blow dry and stretch my hair. So that's what I'm doing here just on low heat. If you have not picked up this dryer yet, make sure you pick it up, you guys. It is my absolute favorite dryer right now. If you're still using the Revlon paddle brush dryer, it's time to ditch it and pick this one up. All right, y'all, so just finished blow drying and I'm trying to figure out exactly how small I wanna go. Um, I think I'm gonna do like my braid then twist the rest. I don't want this to take all day. So products really quickly and then I'm gonna go back to shutting up and letting this be a relaxing video. But I just got this new edge control from Amazon and it's called the Goipel, Gopal? non-greasy natural finish non-sticky strawberry scent it does smell good but it looks like this you guys it does actually smell good i use a little here i'm like i'm nervous to actually use it on my braid braids like when i'm actually braiding because i don't know if it's going to like leave a white cast or not and i haven't tried it so rule of thumb i'm never trying any new products when i'm actually doing a style that's going to stay in my head so i've got my black panther edge control that I always use and I'm gonna go grab my gummy hair gel and I'm just going to do it that way how I've been doing it for forever now and then I have some moisturizer I'm just gonna use my TGIN daily butter moisturizing cream just gonna use a smidge of that throughout my hair and that's it you guys I don't think I'm gonna do my braids too small though um, we leave tomorrow Isaiah and I I just Isaiah and I are headed to um Dallas for my nephew's birthday party his fifth birthday and it just happens to fall on Memorial Day weekend Darren's staying here he's not going um so we'll be gone for just a few days well we're leaving Friday and then we'll be back on Tuesday so <sighs> yeah I'm just gonna I'm just gonna start <laughs> All right, y'all, so y'all know the drill by now. We're just gonna do this in sections, but I wanted to mention this really quickly because it's something I forget to tell you guys. I'm doing kind of like an off-center part because I've been parting my head in the middle so much, literally for the past like three or four months, and I'm starting to notice like that permanent part and it's starting to get a little spacey right there in the middle. So I'm just doing the off center. So keep track of that. That is a good way to tell when you need to switch up your parts when your hair is starting. I already have low density, um, fine hair. So that is a, like, I have to pay attention to that. So if you are the same as me, make sure you're switching up your parts consistently do as I say, not as I do, because clearly I ain't been doing it. So anyways, you guys, just gonna part and start from the back. Um, I'm going to be using my, like a couple different um, gels with braiding my hair. I'm using my Black Panther gel. I'm using my gummy gel. And I actually used that gel that I just mentioned previously, and it did not give me a white cast. It does not hold on your edges though. So if you have edges like mine that have a mind of their own, that's not for your edges, boo. But it did really well for my braid. So 
Just letting y'all know I did mix it up today and I'm actually gonna do different braids, um, sorta kinda. So I do a mixture of like, I'll braid for instance, like this one in particular, I braided about two inches down and then I twisted the rest. Maybe the next row that I do right above it, I will just like braid maybe halfway down, then I'll twist the rest. And then maybe the row before that one, I'll do a couple of just twisting, no braiding at the base. Um, so I do mix it up and I feel like it just looks better when it's mixed up and it holds better it, because some of them end up getting, you know, getting a little bit thicker than others and it gives me a little bit more volume over time and I still get to keep the length as well. Um, I just feel like mixing it up just works for me. So if you haven't tried doing it this way, try it try it out and see what you think don't just braid it all the way down or don't just twist it all the way down um, it still gives you a really long lasting result as well um, I also like to braid the base too because it holds my hair a lot longer it keeps it nice and flat and it actually keeps my parts as they're not even the best but it keeps them looking as neat as possible too so if you also haven't tried braiding your base try it out and let me know what you think. So I'm about to toot my own horn oh, real quick because my hairline is doing fantastic, you guys. I've taken a really big break from wigs and just pulling on it, just messing with it, all that good stuff because I did notice some thinning and my hairline isn't even thick to begin with. Um, but look at it, it is nice and full to me. I'm not getting that many um, like gaps. I was so happy to see this and what I'm doing is working and what I'm doing is basically just leaving it alone, leaving it alone and being as gentle as possible and making sure it stays moisturized is key. You guys, it helps so much to just, you know, just leave crap alone sometimes. That's all you got to do. So that's what I've been doing. Don't get me wrong, it is fun to do all the designs and all that kind of stuff. But honestly, the more I'm on social media, the more I see videos of these edges and all that kind of stuff, I get it. It's creative, it's artistic. You wanna do something fun with your hair. But these edges starting to look like more like, you know, not like, like they look like bangs, you guys, because hair, your hair, you're just pulling out your hair. You're breaking it off, you're pulling it out when you're consistently messing with it. It. Um, if you want to have fun on your hairline every once in a while do it it's not gonna hurt every once in a while when you've got something going on or you just want to do a fun design just switch up your edges a bit but consistently consistent you know pulling on them tugging on them swooping uh, brushes and combs and all that kind of stuff product it can wear on your hairline um, trust me I've been there I've done it um, I I've experienced it so just kind of helping y'all out, giving y'all a few tips here and there. Um, so yeah, so I'm just gonna keep braiding up my hair. And then <laughs> clearly I am absolutely sick of doing my hair, you guys. I was like, ugh, once you get started on like the side, you can't go back. There's no going back after that. You just, you just in the trenches, you know what I mean?
All right, you guys, so my braids are finished. I, get, I did all of this in one day. This is actually the next day. So we are actually headed to the airport after I finish this. So I am gonna lay my edges down, only using my Blue Lagoon Jam right here. Typically, I would go in with my gummy edge control that I have right here or Black Panther or whatever it is and do a little bit of both. But since I'm out and about running around, not gonna be in Dallas till like super late tonight. I want my edges to stay. I'm just gonna go in with my Blue Lagoon. Trust me on this, but you do not need a lot. Also for my fine head girls, rock your braids, rock your mini twists. They don't have, they, no, our hair is not as full. It's not as thick and luscious or whatever you wanna call it. But don't be scared, don't be timid um, to rock your hair. You guys see me rocking my braids, my mini twists and stuff, um, and they look stringy and I don't care. I don't care because my hair is super healthy, it's growing, it's thriving, and I absolutely love this style. So if you have low density like myself, low density, fine hair, um, tight 4B, 4C hair like I do, check out my videos. I will probably put one right here and then down below in the description box. They're not too far back either, um, but just tips that I have for you guys on hair growth, just maintaining your hair and all that good stuff because I've come pretty far. I'm just gonna admit, I've come pretty far and I'm doing pretty well with my hair. So um, I'm actually just gonna add a little bit of water. That's what you see me doing right here and a little bit of my design essentials custard on the ends because I was like oh man I want a little bit more curl but I ended up you know braiding and twisting too far down so that's all I'm doing here you guys and then I'm just going to pop my hair in a ponytail I will probably keep these in for I don't know how long as long as I possibly can but for a few weeks keep in mind you can do your regular hair care routine you can go swimming with these you can wash your hair you can still moisturize deep condition all that good stuff you guys um, with this style it's just such the perfect summer style and the perfect protective style as long as you're actually you know still maintaining your hair so that is it you guys make sure you check the description box for all the details products all that good stuff um, thank you guys so so much for watching and yeah i will talk to you guys in my next one bye